Well, this video is about how I uh, overhauled my Triumph carburetors, and, which I just did recently, and they, um, they're all working really good now. There's no more gas leakage, and they're properly tuned. The car works, works really nice. So hopefully uh, this, by sharing this, you'll learn some tips on how to uh, rebuild your carburetors. Okay, here's my Triumph TR3 carburetor that I'm rebuilding. And I took it all apart, cleaned out all the parts. I soaked them in this can right here. It's carburetor cleaner. And you soak it for 20 minutes and then you just rinse it off with water and dry it off. So now the parts are nice and clean. And now I'm about ready to put them all together. First I have this piece. Some of the pieces are need to be kind of tight and some pieces are kind of loose. And this piece needs to be fitted tightly. It's this piece in here like this. Like this piece. And then there's like two of them that look a little bit longer than the others. So I put them right there. Take this spring that on there like that and then take this piece <clears throat> squeeze that on there just like that and then add a little bit of tension and then to torque that down there I have a little there's my there it is pretty good I just want to make sure that that this kind of is flush up against here see I don't want it to come apart I want it just to be riding up against the side right here and it looks like it's staying there so that's good okay next what I want to do now with that this part in here I had I want to insert this in there and I made a I made a mark at the very top. It's a uh, just to kind of make me remember which side goes to the top. So this does. So that okay looks pretty good. Now I got to put in the, the screws. All right, here's here are the screws. Here's one of the screws, and if you can see. They're split at the end, so what you have to see there, they have a little split at the end. So what you have to do is you have to sc screw them in. Maybe you can see it there. You have to sc screw it in and then you have to spread out that, the tips of them. this I see a little bit of a gap around the edge now let me just screw this in here there. okay I, I uh, put the throttle in there and all right so the next step is I got these gaskets from Moss Motors it's supposed to be a complete gasket set, and we'll just see what all it's got in there. But it's basically, it's got these two pieces, which will go on last. It's got this for the float bowl. Whoops! It's got this, and this looks like it's for the damper here. So I'll just put it with the damper. And this is for the float bowl. Okay, the next step is to assemble the jet. <clears throat> and to do that, you need this little this little washer right here. Goes onto this. This piece drops into here. That allows you to uh, get just a little bit of wiggle. That way you can center the jet, which we'll do later on. This metal part, the aluminum part, will be fixed 
in the bottom of this. Now right there. And the brass part will move around a little bit. This here is the jet itself. Notice there's a little uh, gas inlet right there. The gas actually kind of is, uh, well, <clears throat> it'll, it'll fill up the chamber up to right about here, basically a little, a little bit below the, the top of this. And that's if the float bowl and everything is set up correctly. And in that way, when uh, the air sucks, sucks in, it'll blow out this little top. And then the, and the needle, as you can see, fits right down in the middle. And, and it has to be centered to get the best uh, flow out of there. So, well, there's another little thing is that, is that when I cleaned this out, I had two cork gaskets and two uh, metal um, gasket holders down in here. That was probably causing all kinds of problems and it's probably what was causing the gas to leak out because there was always a little bit of dribble coming out from the bottom of this. I can never stop it. So <laughs> make sure you, you clean out there. Make sure that there's, you know, not a leftover one when, you, when you're reassembling this. So, uh, basically you take this, you put the washer in here, drop this in there. Put this spring, this spring is main purpose is just to uh, prevent this screw, prevent this nut here from coming unscrewed. That's all that does. It provides, also provides this tension to, to hold this down into here. Now, best thing to do is turn it all the way up. You take this, or you take uh, one of your the washers, or, yeah. Uh, Put this down in there. You take one of these, make sure that the concave side is down. Okay, fits right there like that. Kind of pushes down there. Then you take the, the spring. Pushes down there really nice. Okay, so, again, make sure that the concave side is on the upside here. We'll put, we'll put this in here. Or put it right like that, I guess. And then this goes on top. That is basically... Basically it. That goes up in there. So. <clears throat> on top of this goes this little washer here. That helps helps center it. So you have a washer up here and one down at the bottom. Now this piece it's all screwed in here. And then this this spring right here provides tension and hopefully those two uh, little cork gaskets inside there should provide a nice seal and keep the gas now they give us uh, another cork gasket and this metal piece right here. The metal piece goes there and the cork gasket goes on there. Just fit it on there like that. Now this whole piece goes inside here like this. basically screws it in. I'm just going to screw it in just about that much right now. And there it is inside. Pushed all the way up now. So that's how it looks. Next uh, piece is this needle. This is the jet needle. And the main thing is you just look to make sure that it's straight. And it is. 
They make a couple different kinds of needles. This is a general purpose one, which is what I use. And the, uh, you know, they make a high, per, you know, one if you're gonna race cars, I guess, uh, gives <clears throat> a little bit more richer fuel mixture. And they make another one that gives a leaner fuel mixture and it's for uh, high altitudes or very hot weather. But also to get the leaner fuel mixture, they say that you can get a, uh, a different type of spring, one that doesn't work, one that doesn't um, spring quite as much. Or you can even try to remove the spring from here. That will give you also give a leaner mixture. But again, that's just for high altitudes, and I'm not uh, going to do that. So um, this goes right in here. Put that in and just got to line up the bottom here so that it's pretty much flat with the surface and then tighten this down. Let me use this one here. Okay, there's that. And then the next step, here's another thing. This has to be a nice fit too. You might just test to make sure that it it feels good and it's nice and smooth and I can feel it just feels really good so <clears throat> nice and tight and now the fitting of this is I'm going to put this in here first there we go like that that in there and make sure that this, this goes on this little spot right here and then you have to turn this so that it's so right there oh. there it just fits one way so there's three holes put in the three screws Okay, I'm putting in the last of the three screws here. There we go. Oops. And then, so now we want to make sure that this is centered. And it looks like it's, looks like it's already centered pretty good. So, <clears throat> the next thing is to tighten, tighten this down. You do, you got to tighten it. And then you got to just make sure that it's still centered. So, that's binding up a little bit. So, when it binds up, you have to kind of wiggle this, and this thing is just to tap it. Yeah, well, that looks like it got it down. All right, so basically I I tighten this down oh, nice and tight and okay it goes up and down like it should it's nice and uh, centered the jet is centered now they, then what you need to do is to put this in the starting position you can move it down 12 flaps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve twelve flats okay so that's about a good starting position that actually if you look down inside it'll have moved this jet down a little bit and makes a little bit of a a, a bigger opening because uh, that the needle doesn't isn't inserted as far and as wide into the hole so <clears throat> that's in there okay the next thing you want to do is to uh, do the float bowl chamber this float bowl chamber uh, these this thing is is kind of critical you want to make sure that it's at the right height so that way the gasoline will be at quarter inch below the uh, the top of the jet here in the carburetor 
if it's if it's off the gasoline might be too low or too high so um, to make sure that this float chamber has you know the proper uh, level of gasoline what you do is you is you take this little device which comes in like a toolkit that you can get um, and I think it's seven six seven sixteenths of an inch um, and you just put it underneath there and you make sure that it's uh, that that's that height and it is and also make sure when you when you do this uh, see so I can turn it just make sure it barely touches it make sure that these two tongs are even that one is not higher than the other um, it looks like that they're even to me I'd be kind of one might be a little bit higher uh, but I think they're even but anyways if they're not then what will happen is that this float which is underneath will tend to it could get stuck if these are not even just because well it shouldn't but you know they they need to press it needs to press evenly on this float so um, anyways that's just a little tip <clears throat> so after this you just put on the gasket and then assemble this let me put the gasket on okay let's see there's something like that all right and that goes on here like this and let's see so how does it go like it's like that so we want this face in that direction I need him in position like this and screw down there good and tight okay next thing is to get this piece and this piece and this piece and the way this works is that there's a hole in hole in here which is where the gasoline comes out and it has to go through this hole which which will be in the middle here so this hole has to go up to this hole then this hole <clears throat> will get connected to um, this hole right here. And so, to put this on there, you have to put in, to put in basically this piece, this piece, put it on here. This piece, this piece, and this piece, like so. Okay, again, I'm a little bit surprised they did not give me a washer for this, a uh, or a gasket, I should say. So I'm going to reuse the old one that I had, which was this right here, and hope it still is good. Take that off. There we go. Screw this. Tighten this down just a tad. Just like that. Okay. Now, I guess I'm set to go. This will go here. Okay. Okay, 
also go tighten down too. Tight as it'll go. And it looks like looks like it's in there. Looks good, I guess. Okay. And that still works. Now that's mostly it. And the last thing I have to do is put this piece on. Okay, here's one of the carburetors that I already did and I just wanted to See how it looks out the bottom and as you can see I have this piece and it's it, it fits just like this one. So I'm just going to use that as a reference. So just um, Need to put that like so spring on the end this middle piece right here goes right here where the jet is, the bottom of the jet, and then this big fat opening goes right here and connects to this, which, I don't know if you can see, but it goes up, connects to the base right here. So let's see, this is a little doohickey right here, that's, and that goes underneath this hook right here this pin in here. Okay, so basically I, I put the bottom on here, one, two, uh, three pins, the spring, and that's about it. So when you put the choke on, it pulls a little bit like this, there's no action here, that's okay. And then starts pulling it, then you pulls down that jet, and then release it, lets the jet go up. I th it's a little bit slow, I think it just is because the uh, gaskets are are dry in there um, but we'll see it still works fine and this is, make sure that that works well and it doesn't stick at all seems to be okay and this they gave me a, a new gasket for this although the old one's probably okay but I'll just change it out and after that, you just got to fill fill it with oil, but you don't want to fill it all the way. What you want to do is you want to fill it to, say you lift it up, you want to fill it to like a, maybe like half inch below the top. And then that way when you stick this in, uh, you won't get any overflow. Okay, one last final thing is if you need any further information on how to build your how to rebuild your SU carburetors, I would highly recommend checking out this video from Moss Motors. I got it and I really thoroughly enjoyed it and it makes rebuilding the carburetors a whole lot easier and answers all your questions on on how to do this correctly. So, again, I got it from Moss Motors and it's very helpful. So, thought I'd pass that on.